Texas. Got here um, 27 years ago, just in time for the 1980s banking crisis. And uh, the first three years I was in Texas, all I wanted to do was go back to Minneapolis because I didn't understand anything about Texas at all. I thought Texas was, you know, tumbleweed, tumbleweeds and John Wayne movies. And um, I didn't understand all these people that were like so friendly right to begin with. Um, in Minnesota, we take our time becoming friends. Um, but then once you're friends, you're friends for life. Here everybody was friends and transient society and then people were in your life and out of your life. But uh, after three years, I remember waking up one morning thinking, oh yeah, this is home. This is home and I can't imagine living anywhere you, else. You probably knew everybody in town. Yeah. Well, it wasn't very popular necessarily to be a Yankee working in McKinney. So I made an effort to get rid of my northern accent and get to know people, but it was obvious that people knew I was from somewhere else. But, but no, my first job ever was in a nursing home. Okay. And so just because it was close to my house. And that I learned a lot about respect there for people and elders and frailty and families and dying and sickness and all that kind of stuff and uh, um, I actually got one of the orderlies fired because he punched a he punched a patient and I told on him it's always been a highly regulated industry but more and more regulation which is smart I mean we would deal with people's money um, their retirement and 20 years ago it was People had 401ks, more people had pensions. Um, now everybody's having to take much more responsibility for their funding their own retirement and planning for their own retirement. It's really a more holistic planning than should I buy this mutual fund, should I buy that stock, what about this bond? It's much more comprehensive. Well, you know, we all make it to the finish line. We're all going to have our turn, hopefully, at old age, and I would like somebody to treat me with respect when it's my turn and um, care about my experiences, what I think, how I feel about things, what I want. And so, you know, having done this for 20 years, I had clients 20 years ago that were 55, they're now 75, so I've seen them go through a lot of changes. I've seen people, you know, lose spouses, um, go into nursing homes, um, you know, lose children, have to, you know, rethink their whole life, downsize, change the way that they live, go through um, all the economic upturns and downturns. So I really like working with my older clients and they all are interesting. They all have stories to tell and things to teach. One of my downfalls is that I don't really care so much about, oh, I'm going to make this much this year, or I'm going to do that. It's like, I love doing the work, and the rest takes care of itself. So, I started out as a Lions Club member 20 years ago. Lions Club is an international service organization, and it was started, the McKinney chapter was started in 1920. Vision is really our mission, and we do that a number of different ways. There are schools, leader dog schools, they train the dogs, they match dogs with um, sight impaired people. In our club, for decades, we get referrals from school nurses of children that have been tested that need glasses and their families can't afford them. Locally. Locally. And last year, we spent about $35,000, our club did, for those kids. That's there are kids in McKinney that need help. If you can't see the board, you can't learn, and you can't become a, you know, a wonderful, contributing, happy member of society. Yes, I'm, I'm pretty much known as Chili Queen. Chili Queen? Yes. All right, do you wear a crown? Um, I have been known to wear a crown, but no, not frequently. Do you, are you chili queen because of your organization abilities or because of your recipes? Oh, I don't make the chili. The guy that had been running the chili supper, <clears throat> organizing it, got a job in Dallas. So he had to move. He couldn't organize it. They were looking around. Who can we get to run the chili supper? And all I remember is, my thought is, 
How hard could it be? I have no idea how to run a chili supper. It was a tradition. This will be our 60th anniversary. Last year we added a bounce house and a balloon clown and a face painter. And this year we've got text bidding for our silent auction. We get fresh ground beef donated, no, um, you know, no frozen ingredients. And for $7, all you can eat, chili, beans, cornbread, homemade desserts, and salad, coffee, water, and tea. That's a pretty good deal. I didn't know what Lions Club was. Got invited to the club and was told where and when to show up. It was the Wednesday before Christmas. And I walked in, there were 50, 60 old men standing up, singing Jingle Bells, banging on their plates with their knives. I mean, terribly off key. And I thought, what have I gotten into? It's like, these people are crazy. But if you think you have a story to tell, send me an email. But I have to tell you up front, it better be good.